Well, this is my usual place for vlogging. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know this, but today I'm going to be doing something slightly different. The reason for this is twofold. Firstly, I actually wanted to get out and about. Well, that's not actually true. It kind of goes back to this guy, Jonathan. He said... So, here's the deal. If you noticed that I didn't post a video on Friday, and you were bothered by it, then there is something you can do. I am going to offer up a punishment for not posting the video. The person whose challenge is chosen, which will be completely at random, because I'm a statistician, sort of, will be awarded this. So right then, I comment. Punishment to get you started is outside blogging. There are levels of difficulty proportional to the level of embarrassment. Then he says... I'll do you one better, sir. If you can come up with something for three to nine, I'll do them all in a single vlog. And, and then I go shooting my mouth off, saying... You're so on. If you're able to complete the list in a single vlog, I promise to create a response video with the same list. So here it is in full. I really should just keep my mouth shut, but having promised video response, here I am in a cafe and I'm supposed to be vlogging about food. So that's the story. I think vlogging outside is by far the hardest and most self-conscious thing to do. It seems to be a bit easier when, you know, you're in a crowd. Cory Vidal does it all the time, but he, it's like he's chatting with friends. It's not healthy. You're not healthy. It is not well-being. I think this is the... He's not really looking into the camera, looking like an idiot. And then there's Craig, who just goes outside. 300 uploads. 300 uploads! yelled outside in the street and we have to like glance to go through the window. I guess it is equally embarrassing, just in a different sort of way. So when I came up with the list, the idea was that there would be a progression from um, relatively remote and minimal embarrassment to, to standing in the middle of the supermarket looking like a 21st century whiner, muttering to myself as I shuffle my way down the aisle. Rarely now will you see me jump cutting my way through this well-lit venue. But rather I'm going to be here, or I'm going to be here, enjoying the benefits of prevailing westerlies with a rain shadow. So until next time... So then I go shooting my mouth off. I really 